welcome you to a Messiah Revelation Ministry, which is an end time uh, ministry. And we are living in the end times. And if you focus in the world, there are divisions, there are distinctions. And one of them is the distinction by color. The skin color of a human being uh, is used as a basis to distinguish between people as a basis even to discriminate against people and so we have a color line in the world and this color line is very distinctive in the United States and so uh, W.E.B. Du Bois wrote about the fact that one of the major challenges of the 20th century is the challenge created by the color line and pastor Martin Luther King uh, he Reverend Martin Luther King he also talked about the fact that the morning on Sundays early mornings on Sundays in the United States is the most segregated hour in the United States he was still um, again, talking about the color line, the artificial line that has been drawn to separate and segregate people based upon the color uh, of their skins. And now there's another line that has been drawn uh, in the United States. I'll call it the vaccination line, the V line, as you are aware, on August um, on, 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 rather on September the 10th, uh, 2021, uh, President Biden made a speech mandating vaccinations in the United States. And so the people in the U.S., they are going to be differentiated. They are going to be divided. They will, are going to be separated based upon the V line, what I call the V line, the vaccination line. And this differentiation will cut across political lines. It will affect both Democrats and Republicans. It will also cut across skin color. It will affect black people. It will affect white people and all people of color and all colors. And in the church, it will cause divisions because it will also create a Bible line. And those people in the churches who accept to do the vax and those in the churches who will reject taking the vax. And in the churches, um, some pastors who encourage taking the vax, uh, they will cite Romans 13 where Apostle Paul advises us to respect people who are in authority and using that biblical scripture, uh, some of these pastors I'll call them apostate pastors. Uh, they will um, conscientize their co congregation uh, to, uh, to, to, to take the, the vax and comply with the vax uh, mandate. And in the end of this, apostate pastors will use Romans 13 to conscientize people uh, to take uh, the mark uh, of the vis, or of the beast rather. And in the church, the V line will also see um, people, pastors, uh, who will support the V, taking the V, and some of them will support that for profit. Why? Because they wouldn't want their churches to be closed, and they wouldn't want their tithes and their offerings uh, to be reduced, and as a result, they will conscientize their congregation congregation uh, to take uh, the V, the big V. Uh, so we have the color line in the United States that happened in the 20th century. We also will see the V line that is happening in the 21st century. And the time will come where we also have the beast line. Um, when we say the beast line, uh, we are talking about 
uh, the mark, the mark of the beast. The world will be divided into two uh, during the time of the Antichrist. Those who take the mark of the beast and those who reject the mark of the beast. And Revelation chapter 13 says that the Antichrist uh, or the false prophet will, will, will force people to take the mark of the beast, rich and poor, great and small, free and bond, all will take the mark of the beast. Uh, some will not take it, uh, the mark of the beast. So the world will be divided into two, those who take the mark of the beast and those who reject the mark of the beast. That would be a very great time of separation, segregation, and differentiation. And that has eternal consequences. As the Bible says, those who accept the mark of the beast, even though they will be able to buy and sell, but their names will be blotted out of the book of life and they will be eternally, eternally condemned. The Bible says that they will be tormented day and night and the Bible says that they will be cast into the unquenchable lake of fire. So, as in the time of the Antichrist, there will be differentiation based upon those who have the mark and those who do not have the mark. There will also be a differentiation at the time that our Lord comes in. If you read Revelation chapter 22 verse 11, our Lord and Savior is saying those who want to be unholy, let them be unholy. Those who do not want to repent, let them go unrepented. For those who want to be unrighteous, let them be unrighteous. And the Lord is also saying that for those who want to be holy, let them be holy. For those who want to be righteous, let them be righteous. And for those who want to repent, let them repent. Because a time is coming where there will be a line in the church the church will be divided into two, a holy church and an unholy church, a righteous church and a church that is not righteous. So in the, at the time of the coming of our Lord and Savior, there will be separation, there will be differentiation, there will be segregation. The church will be divided into two. Uh, I believe a small number will be the holy church those who would take the narrow road, but a large portion of the church would take the wide road and they will be unholy, they will be apostate, they will be carnal, and they will be part of the synagogue of Satan. And where will you be? Which land will you fall in? Um, during the time when the world is divided along color lines. Which color are you in? At the time where the world is divided along the vax lines, those who had the vax and those who do not have the vax, where are you? At the time when the Antichrist comes in, those who have the seal of the, of the Antichrist, the mark of the beast, and those who have the seal of the Lord of hosts, the seal of righteousness, where will you be? You cannot stand in the middle. You cannot stand between the lines. You have to take a stand. If you take the mark of the beast, you are eternally, eternally tormented. You are eternally condemned if you take the mark of the beast. But you cannot stay aloof. You have to decide. Because it's a, it's a time for decision. The world as we see is ending very soon. The Antichrist is coming. And those who do not have his mark will be tormented. Our Lord and Savior is coming. He's coming for those who have his seal on their foreheads. He's coming for a church that is without any wrinkle. 
a church that is without any spot. That's why it is incumbent for you to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior now and watch your lifestyle, lead a life that is holy. You need to repent of your sins and turn away your idols and pre prepare to have the seal of the Lord on your forehead so that in Revelation chapter 22 verse 12, when the Lord comes in, he will reward you according to your work. A time is coming where there will be separation, the world will be divided, those who belong to the Lord who have his seal and those who belong to Satan and the Antichrist who have the mark of the beast. Don't accept the mark of the beast because if to take you, the mark of the beast will take you to the lake of fire. The Lord is coming very soon. Judgment is coming very soon. It's time for you to repent and accept the seal of the Most High on your forehead. Thank you for this message.